Above ground, visitors move through Jerusalem's archaeological park. Six meters below ground, in the heart of the city's holiest and most symbolic sites, an art exhibit welcomes those arriving from the city of David, just meters from the foundations of the Western Wall. We are uh, standing in an ancient system which date to the first temple period, seven or eight centuries BC, underneath the Herodian Street, which, is, which was the main street in Jerusalem in the second temple period. To be more precise, it's underneath Robertson Arch, which was one of the main entrance to the temple in the second temple period. During the Jewish holidays, pilgrims would walk the road above to reach the temple. It was very logical to say that when Jesus came and visit Jerusalem, he climbed this, uh, this street, and this is the main pilgrimage route that allowed the Jewish pilgrimage to come and visit Jerusalem. From October the 12th to the 14th, during the central days of the Feast of the Huts, the ceramic art solo show Archaeology bridges present and past, tradition and future. The exhibition is part of the Jerusalem Biennial Activities and was made possible through collaboration with the Israel Antiquities Authority, local authorities and cultural centers. For the first time in Israel, an event of this kind is hosted in an archaeological park. The idea behind um, the exhibition is to bring modern art and life into an uh, archaeological site to make the connection between contemporary and ancient. There are 27 pieces on display. Plates, vases, seals. Some of the Israeli-Canadian artists' artworks are inspired by biblical stories such as that of Jonah. The black and white carvings on this vase are meant to recall the very waves of the sea in which the prophet was swallowed by the whale. There's a blue vase behind here and it's a reference to Moses. It's the, um, the Nile where Moses was, baby Moses was hidden. It's a night scene because he was hidden at night. The works are inspired by the artist's studies of the Bronze Age. Clay is among the earliest materials worked by man and is also the foundation stone of archaeological studies. Decorations and techniques of working and firing pottery reflect the present moment and speak of us and our history. Men has been using clay ever since uh, 9,000 years ago to do, you know, small figurines. And later on they did containers and they expressed also their beliefs through the clay. And in Genesis, man was made out of clay and God breathed life into him. From the distant past to the present day, art continues to speak of man and to man and to bear witness to a possible encounter.